So guys, in this video we're going to see an example how we can this actually process two. So we're going to take uh, an input line character using loops or jump instructions and then we're going to reverse that dynamically. Okay, let's start. So let's let's print something that it's going to show that you have to we're gonna show okay move this is the input function int 21h now so we had a loop start so let's say l1 yeah use this level so uh, into compare is a condition if it is carries the chan then exit the uh, loop or the level which repeating repeating structure kind of thing okay let's compare al with 0 dh 0 is in case which is in hexadecimal table as you all know if it is true equal to it's gonna go to level 2 so let's initialize level 2 okay now otherwise what we'll do is push so I'm going to tell how push works. Push x. So now we're going to need something to just uh, to count how many characters we are uh, taking as input. So we're going to use cx as count register. So initializing cx to zero. Okay. Now, so basically we are Incrementing CX is time we are reading a character. Alright, in the next line we're gonna so in 21H we're gonna take input again. So and we're gonna jump to level one until this condition is true. So basically this three line means we are taking input, we are um we are um, reading how many inputs we're taking with cx register if uh, this condition is not true this few instruction is being ex executed over and over again okay so now in l2 level 2 uh, what i have to do is just print a new line and then see so we have already got what we needed we have taking we have write a code that will take the Let's test it a bit. Okay. There's a problem. This is not zero. This is O. Okay. So, so far, whatever code we have written, it will take an input until its a carry return is being read it. Okay. Carry is terminated. Okay. Well, now we're going to write the rest of the code. In level two, what we're going to do is. We're going to do is. First of all, we have to print a new line. Just print a new line as you will do to move deal 10 to deal int 21h. So uh, I know, I hope you know how to print new lines. Okay, now we have to just write in 21h. Okay, or I will have written it further. Okay. Now, the here we have to use a jump instruction to do it again and again. That is, jump if x cx is equal to zero. If the value of cx is equal to zero, it's gonna exit or terminate the program. Otherwise, we're just gonna go into a loop. We're calling it as top. This is loop and. The body of the loop works as it's gonna pop dx in 21h and loop top. So loop can execute how many times? As many times as the input we're taking. That means we have initialized, so we have counted the number of inputs in cx and that initialized the counter register. So we can use, use it into loop as many character we're taking input as many times the loop is gonna run and it's gonna pop the value of uh, 
value we are taking from ax register to dx register here we are pushing the whatever uh, character we are taking we are pushing it into ax and here we are popping it out and like printing it we can use we can use printing function to do that so we are using push and pop to do the such kind of works so let's run this okay so if you say university okay uh, that's that's how it works like that it's gonna reverse anything you want we can say okay reload again reload again and we are on okay we are on ariana grande okay that's how it works yeah it's amazing yeah thank you guys bye see you in the next video